Well, what is up guys? My name is Thaddeus. Welcome to another business video on the business channel, Business with Thaddeus. And in this one, we're gonna talk about how you guys can actually start generating you know, over $500 a day in sales and kind of breaking that down, breaking the entire funnel and process down for you guys to kind of better understand you know, what it actually takes to make 500 a day. Because in the giant scheme of things, 500 a day is, is really not that much. Like you could be making thousands a day once you scale your site properly. And that's that's kind of like the, what I'm trying to like, the end goal is, right? But for now we're gonna show you like break down the, the basis of it and kind of what to do to kind of get, get your foot in the door and start getting start getting those sales, right? So excuse me if I am tired. It's currently 419 in the morning right now. Uh, haven't slept yet. And I'm recording this video for you guys to drop some more value. So let's ju let's just get started. I'm actually screen sharing this one, which I don't usually do. So that's that that's the first. So let, let's let's start that screen share, right? I do want to give a very quick shout out to my boy Alex, who's I'm actually I'm actually gonna have him um, hop on the channel and like interview him. All right, but guys, literally just DM'd me on Instagram, guys. Um, literally from from the course, he's made 4.87k in one week. Literally in in one in one and I I do like one week of sales. Okay, one week of sales. Congrats if you guys haven't already. Course link is in the description. Now let's get to the video. All right, guys. One more thing, as promised. I'm actually recording this as I'm editing as I'm editing the video. But I promised you guys that I would have um you know I'd give really big discount codes in every single video. So there is 85% off on the course. First, there's only there's only three only three uses of this for 85% off. So. Have at it, boys, and um, yeah, guys, and if you want the giveaway, if you want to actually win the course for free, all you have to do is like this video and add me on Snapchat right here. That's all you gotta do, and I will show the winners on Snapchat. So yeah, cheers, all right, back to the video. All right, guys, we are now, like, you're, see, you're seeing mostly my laptop screen now, and so basically what I have is a, is a little document here outlined for you guys. Essentially, if you want to skip everything and, like, like just like not listen to me you are more than welcome to just download this as a pdf link is in the description as well every other link that i fucking talk about now uh, what we want to talk about is like basically what you're selling right five hundred dollars a day what do you need to do to get that five hundred dollars a day to hit that five hundred dollars a day benchmark on shopify right so the first thing you want to look at is you know what 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 the hell are you selling right um breaking this down right as i have now it's a, that that's basically saying you're selling a five hundred dollar product one time every day. So one person in the entire world needs to buy a $500 product from you to make $500 a day, all right? Well, what could that be? So like in here in parentheses, I've listed you know potential um, industries that you could look into. Um, these are just things that I've known to have gotten sales in the past. So that, that that's just like literally just for you guys free value, like hey, that, that's a potential industry that you can look into, all right? So just breaking down more, you know, you either sell a $100 product five times a day to make $500 a day on Shopify, or you sell a $70 product eight times a day, you sell a $50 product 10 times a day, you know, like watches, um, stuff like that, you, or you can sell a $20 product 25 times a day, you know, more in the, at least me personally, I have more success in the fashion industry, most of my products were anywhere from 10 to um, $65, okay? And then the last one is you sell a $10 product 50 times each day, okay? And like basically how you wanna decide whether or not what, like what you wanna do and what kind of route you guys wanna go down in like deciding what your product is, right? Is first of all, you gotta look at how you're gonna actually um, like vet your products, right? How you're gonna determine these are actual selling products, okay? The first thing you wanna do, at least with me and my my funnel that I, that I prefer to go in, especially with the fashion industry, is I look at competitors, okay? And I look at my, par my possible marketing outlets, all right? So what does that actually mean? So me personally, I will go find themed Instagram pages, okay? I'll look at them, see what, see what those pages are promoting. Most of the time these pages off, like they usually do shout outs for other companies, okay? I wanna see what these companies are promoting because it usually tells you if you can find a lot of competition in the industry, that, like that's saying there's money in the industry, okay? I've said that in like every single one of my videos because it's so true and you guys need to get that in your head that if there's a lot of competitors out there, that means there's lots of money in the industry for you to take, all right? Like the universe doesn't care if you you know you take five hundred dollars a day all right out of the whatever billion dollar amount transactions that are just in the united states alone okay so really five hundred dollars a day is not that much and that's kind of just why you had to like desensitize yourself to you know that that kind of number especially if you guys are just starting out that think you know five hundred dollars a day thousand a day is like something so crazy and unattainable that you make it hard on yourself just with your own mindset and saying like yo like that's a lot of money. I don't know if I can do this, right? It's like in the giant scheme of things, it's not. It's not a lot of money. Five hundred dollars a day 
could like like that that's pennies for for a lot of successful drop shipper um drop shippers right and it really like it, like again we're breaking it down like what product are you selling okay depending on what product or industry you decide to go in that can kind of dictate you know um what 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 your marketing strategy is and how you are getting like how you're gonna go get those get those sales and get that volume you need to hit that benchmark right if you only need one person a day to buy a hundred dollar product then you know that 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 right there it can like like that right there can change your entire marketing outlet versus you know saying you need to get 10 or you need to get 50 people to buy a ten dollar you know uh, like dad cap or something right um for 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 ten dollars right you need 50 people to buy ten dollar product or you need one person to buy like a, a kayak or a canoe I, I don't know right so that right there that's the first part that you need to understand is like what what are you actually selling on your site, okay? Once you've determined that and once you've vetted that, again, you gotta look at your possible marketing outlets and your competitors, especially if you're going with the route that I teach, in like, like especially in my course, always plug, but basically, um, what you need to understand is I always look for competitors. I always look for for noise in the industry, okay? Because what that says to me, because guys, it's dropshipping. Dropshipping is the easiest in, is the easiest industry to get into, okay? So if you aren't, you know, if, if there's no competitors in the space, that's a, that's a red flag. That that's that's not good, and that's something you should be worried about, okay? Now, um, literally, guys, I I, I structured this in like a. Uh, like, like a kindergarten fashion, like you know, who, what, where, what, are all the, all the, all the W's, right? So basically, now who, who is buying from you? Like, what is your customer profile kind of looking like? Okay, and oftentimes, you usually like you, you, you kind of know who, who might be interested in your product. For example, if we look at kayaks, right? Who might be interested? In that people that like the outdoors, people that like maybe like to go hiking or boating, um, stuff like that. Okay, or potentially you know um, like hats or fashion accessories, especially with men's accessories. You know, um, that right there's a whole market. You know, maybe 18 to 34 year olds that uh, like fashion that have you know x amount of buying power that uh, follow these specific pages or interests you know like stuff like that right you might kind of have an idea of what your customer is but you really you really don't know right you really don't know until the data actually tells you until the numbers actually tell you yo this is who's buying from you this is the demographic that's buying for you this is the location that's buying from you this is the age range that's buying from you um, all those kind of numbers you, you you don't know until un until the market tells you right and the only way to tell that is by experimentation with with your products right and with your marketing strategy okay so what does that mean you need to experiment guys you need to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak you're you're literally tweaking the whole time all right so um again how do you you know how do you let the market tell you what it is how do you let that data speak to you okay um again that means testing shout outs testing influencers testing ad copy testing the pictures you use for those instagram shout outs okay because again with my funnel um literally like i have a whole video on my instagram funnel okay but it's built from Instagram, okay? And you're getting that data from Instagram. You're driving that, that traffic from Instagram to your website, okay? After like a few different things in that whole Instagram funnel, um, eventually you get them to your website. You have, you know, the Facebook pixel on your website or your Google Analytics ID, whatever it is, but I, I usually go from Instagram and I later move on to Facebook for my for my paid advertising, okay? And what does that, like, what, what that means is basically you need to get that traffic from Instagram to your website so that you can collect data with your Facebook pixel, with whatever, like, tracking ID you're using so you can start to generate a customer profile okay like yo these are the people that are you know are end up purchasing my products if i know that then now you can literally market to that audience you can create look like audiences in facebook you can start to actually dig into you know what what your audience what your audience is looking like and that's how you really begin to you know let let the data talk and then that's how you begin to figure out who your customer profile is and then you can narrow in dig deep and start to market to those exact people to get sales okay so does that make sense yes it does if it doesn't rewind okay or download the pdf <laughs> link in the description now where okay so what is the best platform to begin with again i like literally just went over this because it went on tangent but i always start with instagram okay instagram influencers are are like key and i'm not talking about people i'm talking about themed pages okay and that's a whole that's a whole different topic as like to why but basically theme pages um the the people that follow it usually have more of an interest in the actual theme of it than rather than like an influencer and what they actually do um, or shout out okay so I use theme pages on Instagram now I find those pages I vet them I make sure that you know the likelihood of them buying fake followers or fake engagement is very very low compared to any other pages that I'm comparing and you use that information you purchase shout outs from them okay and then you you experiment you you get you purchase like you get you use a picture of your own you use a caption of your own okay and oftentimes if you don't know what to say you don't know what picture to use again let the market speak to you. Let let the let the market tell you what to do. Look at your competitors. What are they saying in their shoutouts that that seems to work? What kind of pictures are they using that seems to work? Okay, you you can literally. I'm not saying rip off from them because that that is not what you want to do. You want to make your own brand because then that that increases brand loyalty and everything else down the road, especially for getting recurring customers. But like just looking at what works and kind of mimicking that 
and going off of that, like spinning off of that, saying, okay, I see this is working. Maybe they're, they're including, you know, two call to actions in all their captions. They have their website in their ad copy, even though, you know, it can't link on an Instagram caption, but they still have it there. Um, like stuff like that. Like what are the small things that these competitors are doing to actually drive traffic from an Instagram picture to their profile, to their website, right? Cause that's, that's the basic of the Instagram funnel, right? Cause you, you can't have links anywhere except your own profile page, right? So you need to get that traffic to your profile page to click through to your website. Okay. And that's how, like, that's how the funnel is broken down. And that's the platform that I use. I use Instagram to drive all my traffic and especially in the beginning. And then I migrate to Facebook. Once I've like curated that Facebook pixel, um, that process can, can be anywhere from literally a few days to a month. It really depends on the amount of traffic you're getting, the amount of volume, the amount of sales. Okay. If you're getting lots of sales, then you can, you know, assume like, okay, I kind of understand, or at least I have enough information to understand that these are the people that are buying my products. So now I know where to go and now I know who to market to. Okay. If you're not getting sales, you don't want to go into paid ads quite yet just because you don't know exactly who your customer profile is like who is buying from you right you don't know and that that's the whole point of like experimenting and trying to figure that out especially with instagram influencers because it's a lot more organic and you can kind of just gauge okay this this interest this 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 population of people um prefers you know prefers these products and that that's how you kind of start to branch off to create look like audiences and to market to them okay guys so again literally how to start making 500 dollars in shopify it, it really comes down to marketing okay your website is important don't get me wrong you need a good converting website but a lot of people stress too much on the website that they like leave out the entire marketing segment when that's the most important part like if you can't get eyeballs to your product then you are like you don't have you don't you you don't you're not gonna make money if you can't get eyeballs like you can have the best looking website in the world but if no one sees it then no one sees it you don't make money okay you don't convert you can't convert with zero traffic okay <laughs> that you just you just like you can't okay so like, what does that mean? You need to learn how to market your products. Again, what I do is I use Instagram influencers, okay? I find those influencers using Social Blade. You can vet them. You can Google, like, not Google them, but you can search them in Social Blade, see their growth over time, look for no spikes in, in follow growth, anything like that to kind of determine, okay, these guys may or may not have bought, because like, again, you don't want to pay for a shout out and have that account be a majority of fake followers. That's less bang for your buck. You're not getting your money's worth um, for that shout out to try and like generate some sort of return on that. You're just you're literally just getting played. And that's not what you want to do, right? Okay? You want to be able to use influencers that that are good. Again, I have a whole video on influencers dropping. I think the next the next video, okay, I'll have it linked like like here or something, right? When it, whenever it's out. But Basically, you're gonna vet these influencers and you're gonna determine, okay, this one's good, this one's bad, this one's good, right? and you're gonna use those and you're gonna experiment with them, okay? You're gonna experiment with the different pictures, the different ad copy, all that kind of stuff to tweak and experiment and see, all right, this drives a lot of traffic when I use this picture in this kind of angle, right? Say, you know, the free free product plus shipping offer. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't work for your product or your brand or the, whatever angle your business is going, right? Are you branding yourself as luxury? Are you branding yourself as affordable? Are you branding yourself as, you know, um, L affordable luxury like literally there's so many different angles you can play off of but you just need to make sure there's continuity and flow in all of it your website your instagram your social media profiles they all need to be relevant and the same you can, they can't they can't bounce from you know your website or they can't go to in your instagram profile right say you spend money on a shout out you get their interest they go to your instagram profile they're interested they click the link they go to your website your website is completely off it doesn't resemble or have any sort of vibe that your instagram profile did and they bounce they leave all that money you spent on that traffic on that shout out is gone just because you didn't have continuity or flow from instagram to your website that's all why i keep all my websites very very visual just because instagram is such a visual platform you keep it that way you want them to have some sort of familiarity or like likeliness um, when they move from a different platform especially if they're going to your website for the first time like that's your chance to make a first impression all right if you take a girl out and I don't know where I'm going with that analogy, but you want to have a good first impression, all right? So that that's kind of what you guys want to do. This video was a little bit longer, but I hope it kind of like breaks it down for you guys. Like this is not very um, it's not like a okay, do this, do this, do this, because really, like if I'm supposed, if you want me to tell you to like do that, do that, do that, it's make a Shopify website, okay? Figure out your marketing strategy, or right? figure out who, like your marketing outlets. Who are you gonna market towards, all right? How are you gonna experiment at a cost-effective rate, okay? Are you gonna test shoutouts with cheap influencers, okay? That that's that's something you should be doing, especially if you don't know if your ad copy works. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a shoutout when you don't know if that picture is good or if that shoutout's good. Like that's not that's not like. Like you gotta like be smart with your money, right? You gotta act like you're broke constantly so that you can use your money to the like like at a very cost effective rate, okay? And then in terms of like just like again going off of like what you need to do, make make a website, figure out your marketing strategy, your marketing outlets, 
figure out your product, right? Source your product, vet your product, make sure there's competition in the industry, okay? Upload those products to your website, make them look good, take, you know, um, your own product photography if you can. I always preach, especially in my course. Um, I also have videos always, I have a link in the description, always plug. But, again guys, that's like what you need to do to make 500 a day is that, okay? But there's a lot of different mindset and just angles that you need to figure out, which is what I'm trying to give you guys in this video and like, in this like, in this backstory, and I, the camera was like sitting still the whole time. I like to usually hold it and whatnot, but like, guys, that's that, that that's kind of the breakdown of it. It's like, how do you make 500 a day? Well, you can make 500 a day in a bunch of different ways. It's what what is your preference? What do you take? Would you rather have one high volume sale every day? Would you rather have a bunch of low volume sales every day? That you know, it requires less trust from the customer f per se to get them to purchase than a high ticket offer, right? You have high ticket products, high ticket offers in the $500 one or low ticket offers, the $10 one, okay? And usually, you know, low ticket offers get more volume than high ticket offers. Um, that, that's, or it's cheaper to get lower ticket offers than it is to get high ticket offers, like something like that, right? But it's just how you market yourself, guys. It's how you market your brand and how you're gonna like angle it, okay? I know guys that are selling drones for $70 that are making, you know, 100K a month on Shopify. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just how you brand yourself and how you leverage that and make sure you have continuity between every single platform and like the entire funnel that traffic goes through, okay? You want continuity with that, like just, just nothing to, like to hurt your conversions, all right? But again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that gave you some light on it all. Um, just like how to actually make 500 a day on Shopify. It's a process, it's a cycle. I hope it was useful for you guys. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I respond to everyone's comments in the comments below. So comment, I know I haven't uploaded in a fat minute, but like, like if you watch the update video, you'll know, you'll know what's up. There's a lot of shit popping. But like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to join the Telegram group, join the Facebook group, join the course if you haven't already, guys. There's testimonials through the roof. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.